Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are again, another MWR Financial Corporate Leadership Live on Monday night. Listen, I'm going to slow this process down to give you enough time to make those last minute phone calls, to send out those last minute texts. You want everybody that you know, whether they're in this business or not, you want them on this platform tonight because there's some news that's going to be shared. The hope that people need, the, 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 the way out. I'm telling you, we've got it. MWR Financial is bringing the solution to the table. Unlike any other company in this country, ladies and gentlemen, be on this platform tonight. Make those calls. Send out those last minute texts. I mean, reach out to people that you care about and love the most. They need to hear this information. What is going to be provided tonight is the solution. No question about it. My name is Gerald W. Park. I'm excited to be on this platform with you tonight. Guys, I'm telling you, we've got a chance to do something great. And we've got the tools, the systems, and the experts to assist America in winning. Talking about creating a new economy within an economy, MWR Financial, without question, brings the solution. So let's see who's joining us on the platform. Where are you chiming in from? What city? What state? Paul, New Jersey. Welcome to the platform, sir. Who else is out there? we got Colorado Springs. Rochelle, good to see you. Welcome to the platform. Uh, Patrice out of Texas. Galveston, welcome to the platform. Who else is out there? Ms. Caldwell, uh, Windsor Mills, Maryland. Welcome to the platform, ma'am. Ms. Cassandra Wooten, Goldsboro, North Carolina. Always good to see you. Who else is out there? All right, good deal. Ms. Hodge out of uh, Columbia, Maryland. Welcome to the platform. Ms. Cooper out of Georgia. Welcome to the platform, man. Dale out of Durham, North Carolina. Welcome to the platform, sir. Who else is out there? Sofa, Virginia. Andrea, welcome to the platform. All right, uh, Ms. Sanders out of Raleigh, North Carolina. Welcome to the platform. Guys, let's get a few more in before we transition over. Dr. Gibbs, welcome to the platform. Phoenix, Arizona. Daryl Banks, uh, Nightdale, North Carolina. Welcome to the platform. All right, we've got Fayetteville Poindexter uh, in the house. Welcome to the platform. All right, Mr. Mays, Indiana. Welcome to the platform, sir. Who else is out there? Guys, all right, Auburn, Georgia. Go Tigers. Welcome to the platform. Who else is out there? All right, Anna, welcome. Come on, stop, my friend. Uh, Orlando, Florida. Welcome to the platform. Pembroke, North Carolina. Oxidon, welcome to the platform. All right. Gina out of uh, New Jersey. Welcome to the platform. Let's get a few more in. We've got Las Vegas, Nevada in the house. We're going deep out to the West now. Somerville, South Carolina. Ms. Baker, welcome to the platform. All right. Los Angeles, California. Uh, Miss Oliver, welcome to the platform. Guys, one or two more, and then we're going. Columbia, South Carolina, Mr. Capers, welcome to the platform. Guys, once again, my name is Gerald W. Park. Excited to be on this platform with you tonight. I kid you not, please. Take a moment to send out those last minute texts, make those last minute phone calls. I've been on my texts all day long, been making calls. Get on this platform. You've got to see and hear what MWR Financial is going to be discussing tonight. Now, it is my pleasure and privilege to bring to the platform my first speaker. Think about where we are and what we're doing. I want to say this before I bring this gentleman on. He's responsible for helping to develop the most comprehensive financial service platform ever offered to the general public. Now, he's built four multi-million dollar companies, so he understands it, but I've never met a guy who's so committed to the average everyday person, willing to give back. Once again, he's here today to prove that, that he's concerned about all of our financial health and where we are as it relates to what we're seeing in this economy, but the fix is in place because of MWR Financial. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, help me welcome to the platform, the CEO and founder of MWR Financial, Mr. Brian T. House. Hey, buddy, how are you? My friend, if it gets any better, I won't be able to stand. It's always good to see you. Every time I see you, you're bringing good news. And tonight is no different. Thank you so much for joining us on the platform. I know that you put this together out of concern for many people in this country who are currently living quiet lives of desperation. We know the struggles. We see it in, in, in real time. And, and we know that it gets worse before it gets better. And your goal is to help position people so when that hit does come, I mean, they, they can overcome it. Yeah, no, absolutely, Gerald. And that's that's one of the reasons we put this call tonight or this live together tonight uh, is that there's some things that have recently uh, came out uh, as far as news that we need to make people aware of, especially our members, especially our directors, people that are involved with MWR Financial, because uh, we want to make sure they're prepared. Uh, for what is coming, not just what's already here, because we're already experiencing some effects of inflation and, and recession, those type of things. But we're going to break some things down a little bit further to help people understand the actually short and long term impact of what's happening and how I, we are so blessed, Gerald, yes. so blessed yes. to be in a position that when we have the solution, not just to be able to offer from an opportunity perspective, uh, but also to be able to utilize 
for our for our members to be able to take part in <clears throat> and really uh, not have to be affected. And, and that's what we want to see. We want to see. I don't believe anybody in our company should ever be worried about the fact that we're getting ready to go into a deeper recession. I don't think they should because they've got the answer. And uh, and so we want to make sure there's some clarity on that tonight. But before I do that, Gerald, and get into that, uh, I have a few updates that I need to take care of real quick. And one is in regards to our employee retention credit program, which is going crazy uh, since we, we announced it. We have over 200 and some companies that are already submitted that are going through the process of the program uh, and stuff to where we're helping those businesses take advantage of the employee retention tax credit, which can allow them to get up to $26,000 uh, per employee that they retained during the pandemic. This is a government-backed program, thanks to the CARES Act. And, uh, and so that program is going phenomenal. But when it comes to our directors, I have to make an announcement here. Uh, we have in our back office, I want everybody to know that when you submit through your capture page that you have, when you submit a business for them to get a free analysis, you can track the progress of that business by going to the marketing tab in your business center or your back office, uh, clicking on my MWR leads, and then you can look at or sort and figure out all the ERC leads that have been submitted or businesses. And all you have to do is look at the last action section uh, of that table to be able to determine what's going on. What, the reason I'm saying this is that we have got to get our directors to stop calling our ERC experts and saying, hey, what's the status? We report the status in real time. So if they leave a voicemail, you're going to see a mess. You're going to see in the last action, it says left voicemail. OK, if they have completed the analysis and they sent the paperwork or, you know, uh, they're waiting on documents, you'll see it'll say waiting on documents. And guys, if you see any of that stuff, left voicemail or waiting on documents, don't call the ERC experts. Call your business that you referred and say, hey, you definitely want to get your documents in while there's money left for the ERC program, okay? There's a sense of urgency to this, all right? So while there's money available through the federal government, you want to get your paperwork in, your documents in as quick as possible so you do not miss out on it. And our experts can get that information along with all the proper paperwork, and everything sent off to the IRS to get you your ERC refund back uh, as a business owner. Okay, so you can help with those things, uh, but you don't have to call our ERC experts because we don't want to take time away from them handling the appointments and servicing the businesses that you've submitted. Okay, use the tools we have in place. Let the experts do the work. Okay. And you just follow along. And if you can assist with having them contact the ERC experts, if a voicemail was left, uh, if we're waiting on documents, have them, you know, get their documents uploaded and sent in as quick as possible. Uh, that would be greatly, greatly appreciated. That's all you have to do. But let them do the rest. Once payment is received, you'll see that in the last activity. Then once it shows completed, you know that when it shows completed, it's going to trigger your commission, okay? And uh, in real time, okay? So when we when it says completed, that means they received their refund, we received payment, and now you get to receive payment, okay? So hope that clears everything up for you, all right? But I had to get that out. Now, Joe, let's get to the topic for tonight. All right. And uh, that is, and I'm glad we had a chance to do that because it gave more people time to get on. And sure. uh, I hope, guys, I hope you share this tonight. I hope you share this live with everyone, you know, because I'm going to tell you, most people don't pay enough attention to what's going on uh, with our economy. They see the things that affect them directly. And a lot of times when they see it, it's too late to react to it. Right. Okay. And because, they're already doing things that are putting them behind. And I'm going to give you some statistics tonight. 
uh, that I want you, you can go look these things up. We don't make this stuff up. Uh, and by no means is this designed to scare you. Uh, but I think in order to remedy a problem, you got to know what the problem is. I think in order to be able to fix something, you have to know what needs to be fixed. And, and, you know, I think also being able to be proactive instead of reactive requires you knowing the information in advance. All right. So I hope all that makes sense because that's what we want to do tonight. We want to prepare you for this stuff. First thing I want to point out is there have been several articles that have came out between the Washington Post, uh, the, the New York Post, uh, also Forbes. Uh, if you pay attention to any of those things, any financial news out there, you're going to realize that there are some major challenges, major challenges. And some of them you see all the time. You see them posted on Facebook. You see them posted on Instagram. You see all these little things where people are saying, oh, inflation and the gas prices have went up. <coughs> Excuse me. Cost of goods and services are going up. All those things are exactly right. Those things are happening. When fuel costs go up, then it ends up causing uh, production costs to go up for some products. And, when produ or, and then also delivery costs to go up to get products delivered. And so when all of those things happen, then those costs are then passed on to the consumer. Okay. That's why you get inflation right now. We're setting at about 13 and a half percent. I think it's actually higher than that because when you look at the actual products or services that are included in what the government uses to figure out the numbers for inflation, go figure up your grocery bill compared to what it was three months ago. Mm. Okay. Six months ago, a year ago. OK, go figure it up. All right. Because you're going to end up seeing that 13 and a half percent doesn't scratch the surface. You look at gas prices. Uh, you know, we were at uh, and, and guys, I want you to also understand this. I'm an independent. OK, this is by no means anything I'm saying is not designed to be political. I'm not a fan of the way government handles our money whether they're Republican or Democrat, if they're going to continue doing things that put our families in jeopardy, okay? Doesn't matter what party is in there, if they're either doing the right thing or the wrong thing, okay? And, uh, and so you've probably got your own opinions politically of, of who, is, who does a good job and who doesn't do a good job. Well, I can tell you right now, uh, and again, this is not political, but if I look at what's happening with the current administration that is in here, okay, without blaming anybody else, without blaming Putin and without blaming anybody else, let's look at what is happening. And again, this is not a bash on a Democratic Congress or a president or any of that stuff. I, I, I could care less, okay, because in reality, we have to make the right decisions to combat whatever decision they make. It's up to us, guys. It's up to us. All right. And but here's what I'm going to tell you. I'm looking at over the last 12 months, over the last 12 months. People have lost 25 percent in their 401 case, 25 percent. I want you to think about this. I want you to think about this. If you had 400, uh, let's say a 401 K, you had four hundred and one thousand dollars in your 401 K a year ago, you now have. $301,000 in your 401k. You lost 25%. And the average American out there thinks that, oh, well, I just have to wait for the markets and everything to recover by 25% and then I'll get my money back. Well, that's not how it works because now you're working with 301,000, not 401,000. So you're going to have to get 35 to 40% return to be able to get back to even, to get back to even, get back to your 401,000, 35 to 40%. Our company has programs in place that eliminate that from happening. We tell our members, we've got tons of members that participate in our private reserve account to where they're able to participate in stock market gains without having to experience any of those scary losses. Okay, so when the market goes down, you don't lose money. When the market goes up, you make money. That's the way it works. But zero is your hero. You never go backwards. 
that we don't want to see happen. All right. And we've saved a lot of people. We've saved them from this type of tragedy of happening to them with their 401ks. All right. So, and I'm, I'm briefly touching on this because there's a lot to go over. There's a lot to go over. Okay. In addition to that, <coughs> excuse me, savings in this country are down by 83%. The amount of money being put away in savings is down by 83% compared to this time last year. 83%, guys. Think about that. The amount of money being put away is down 83%. Now, here's the reason why. In 2019, it was the first year in history that Americans accumulated over $1 trillion, $1 trillion in credit card debt. Over $1 trillion in credit card debt. Think about that. 2019. In 2019, 78% of the American population was already living paycheck to paycheck. 78%. 78% were already living paycheck to paycheck. Now, you've got 83% aren't saving, but here's the big kicker. Since the pandemic, all right, since 2019, credit card debt was $1 trillion. Now, thanks to the compounding effects of the pandemic, of inflation, the fact that during even this administration, where I know one of the one one of the campaign points was raising the minimum wage to fifteen dollars. Okay, guys, it didn't happen. And let me explain to you what did happen. Right now, with this current administration, wages have went down, have went down in this administration, not up, not up. There are some jobs that pay higher, but most jobs are now paying less, which is a contributing factor that is obviously the pandemic to where companies and businesses were trying to recover from the pandemic. And when they were trying to do that, they couldn't hire on or bring back people for the same wages because they had lost so much money, which is another reason why we are working so hard on our ERC program to help those businesses that are struggling to put more money back into their pockets because of what they did to maintain employees so that they can do things to help increase incomes for their employees. Okay. They can have the additional cash flow to be able to do that. Now, with that, I want you to think about this 83% aren't saving, 78% of the American population was living paycheck to paycheck. But because of inflation, because we're now into a recession, because gas prices are up, because now we're getting ready to see interest rates that are going up. All right. All of these things that have happened since 2019, first year that we ever hit a trillion dollars in credit card debt, as of right now, okay, every quarter since the pandemic began, we are now seeing that credit card debts have increased by about $350 billion per quarter. We are now, okay, almost over $3 trillion in credit card debt. I want you to think about that. Now, I want you to look this stuff up too, guys. I don't want you to take my word for it, but $3 trillion in credit card debt. What does that tell you? That tells you that people are not financing their vacations. They're not out there buying a bunch of niceties and buying a pool for their backyard on their credit card. That's not what they're doing, okay? They are paying for goods and services that they now need to live. Because when you take all the effects of inflation, 78% of population living paycheck to paycheck, going into a mild recession that is getting ready to go into a deeper recession, all right, that we're getting ready to experience a deeper recession. And I'll explain to you a little bit more about what I mean by that. But <clears throat> when you look at all of those scenarios, people are using credit cards just to maintain a lifestyle, not to create a lifestyle or not to finance the lifestyle that they want. They're using it 
for medications, for food, for groceries, things like that, because so many of them were already living paycheck to paycheck before costs started rising. Okay, that's what's happened, which means those Americans are now burying themselves further and further in debt, now becoming even more beholden to the banking system, the credit and banking system. Okay. And we talk about this a lot, guys, with MWR Financial. You know how our goal is to help people get money back, get their money back from the government, banks, and big business. Okay. Because that's where majority of your money is going. Now, this scenario has created it. Uh, uh, this has created a scenario <clears throat> where even more of your money is going there. And as far as the future, I want you to realize, uh, I believe it was Forbes that uh, we read this article uh, and it was talking about CEOs. There are 98% of CEOs and most of these are Fortune 500 CEOs. Okay, 98% of CEOs and small CEOs uh, are now preparing for a deeper recession. Now, I want you to be aware of what that means. What does that mean? Well, how do CEOs prepare for a recession? Well, there's a couple of things they can do, okay? One, they can raise cost of goods and services, which just adds to inflation, uh, still creates a problem. Most CEOs, <coughs> excuse me, guys, I've got a tickle in my throat. Most CEOs, uh, to prepare for a recession, what they do is they downsize. They start laying people off. Gerald, you just told me something a minute ago about a, a young lady that uh, what? It, it, just explain it because I can't even remember what you told me. But no, no, uh, uh, in the insurance uh, uh, business, an insurance professional, and uh, one of the offices uh, has already indicated that they're preparing to lay off fifty people out of that office. And they've got multiple offices across the country, so it's already started. Uh, it's yeah. already started. These CEOs are making these decisions to begin this transition. And again, when you talk about businesses cutting mm -hmm. expenses, what gets cut first? Employees. The largest expense and the largest expense for most companies and where you look to cut costs is with employees. Uh, but I will I will tell you this, Gerald, what amazes me about what you just said there is that the insurance industry is one of the wealthiest industries in the world. Wow. Yes. But they're laying off 50 people, whatever company that is. I don't know who it is, but I appreciate you sharing that. But uh, the other thing is, guys, is it may not result in a layoff. It may result in replacement. And I'll explain to you what I mean. A lot of CEOs now look at their salaries and they end up going, hey, I can bring somebody in that is entry level, college graduate, maybe high school graduate, depending on what type of position it is and what, what type of education level is required. Uh, and I can replace this higher paid employee that's been here for 5, 10, 15, 20 years with maybe somebody younger uh, that can I can end up paying a third or half to and so I can still get the same production, but I can end up reducing our cost. And I've got a great excuse now because the recession has required me to do this. Okay, guys, there's no easy way to put all of that. And again, it's not to scare you. It's not to scare you. You may be totally secure in your job. I, I don't know that. OK, I'm just telling you what the facts are. When I hear 98 percent of CEOs in this country are preparing for a deeper recession. I, I've been a CEO for 31 years. I know what it means to prepare, prepare for a recession. I know what it means. OK, and the only thing you can do to prepare in order to be able to stay afloat, keep your business open and weather the storm is to actually adjust your expenses or increase your price points, which doesn't work very well because in a recession, people don't have the additional expendable income that they need to purchase your, your items if you're already struggling with that, okay, because of a recession. So those are, those are some things that are happening. Uh, in addition, in addition to this, uh, I want you to realize 
that right now, for those of you that are on here that are already involved in MWR Financial, uh, I said it earlier, I feel like we are extremely blessed because everything we do combats the effects of inflation, combats the effects of a recession. There is not one of our members that if they are plugged in and utilizing our strategies, our experts, our services, by having our experts do the work for them, if they're utilizing what they have, there's none of them that should be negatively impacted as bad as those people in America that do not have access to what we have to offer at MWR Financial. Okay. You just should not have to suffer through that compared to someone that doesn't know about our company. And I'm going to give you an example of what I'm talking about real quick. Uh, and then we're going to bring up uh, uh, somebody else here to fill us in on, on what I believe is the most important piece of this, because I'll just say this with every adversity comes an opportunity. And uh, I believe we have a window of opportunity here that is greater than normal. Okay. We, we have a business that thrives in any economy. That's the beautiful thing about what it is that we do uh, as far as making, saving, and helping people grow their money is that our business, if the economy is great, people want to know how to invest their money. They want to know how to make it work for them. They want to know how to do even better. They want to know how to, you know, uh, get, eliminate their debts even faster. They want to know how to get their credit scores up or reduce their taxes. All those things still apply. But when people are going through pain because of financial issues, when people are going through pain because of a recession, it causes people to now have to act instead of it just being a want to act. Okay. I hope that makes sense. <clears throat> now it's not an option to do something. You can get into a comfort level to where you think, oh, I'm fine. But when all of these things start compounding and affecting your household and you see that you have less money and you have less money available on your credit cards and you're scared about what's going to happen if an emergency comes up and you're worried about whether or not you're going to be able to pay your rent this month because you had to spend so much on gas, so much on food, so much on all the necessities that you needed in life, all the niceties that you have have went away. All right. Those aren't options right this second. When all of those things kick in, then unfortunately, people end up experiencing the pain that ends up causing them to have to make an adjustment in order to alleviate the pain. They just have to. They just have to. There's no other way out of it. And the only option is to make, just like a CEO preparing for a recession. Every consumer out there right now has to prepare for a recession. They have to prepare for it. And the only way they can prepare for it is by either making or saving more money or both. That's the only way you prepare for it. To keep your, your retirement from getting destroyed in a recession, okay? And you having to make double or triple the returns in order to get back to even and wasting potentially years to make that happen just to get back to where you were before this happened. All right. In order to do that, you know, you have to make sure that your money is in a place where you know you're not going to lose money. All right. Where you win when the market goes up, and you, you end up not losing when it goes down, okay? Uh, and we do that. We provide the best ways to save, grow, and protect your money tax-free with no risk of loss, all right? And uh, I can tell you, there are a lot of people with 401ks that wish they knew about us prior to this happening, okay? Uh, so with that, guys, these are the things that are happening, all right? And I'm going to give you an example of what we've been able to accomplish for our members, 
Okay. And uh, Martina, if you don't mind, if you'll bring up the, the first slide, I'm just going to go through the numbers. I'm not going to break it down on everything, guys. You can come back and look at these slides in detail. Uh, but, you know, the first portion of our program is designed about helping people reduce their taxes. Our tax experts will actually help W-2 employees get an instant pay raise on their very next check. For most people, They've all that are not involved with MWR Financial. If they participate in our home-based business and take advantage of our tax reduction services, okay, through Reduce My Taxes, the tax portion of our program, uh, they can literally look at potentially not having to pay any income tax between now and the end of the year because chances are they've already overpaid enough. And they can look at an average instant pay raise of anywhere between $200 to $600. Average instant pay raise uh, per month, $200 to $600 per month. As a matter of fact, our tax reduction strategies are putting an average for our members of about $824 per month back into their pockets, either through savings on taxes that they don't have to pay out anymore or on savings by services we provide that will eliminate costs that they have, okay? That's one piece of it. And all of this is done by our experts. You don't have to learn how to do this on your own. So if you can, Martina, go to the next slide. Uh, the next piece is lower my bills. Our average member, our bill negotiation experts who do all the work for you, again, are saving our members an average of $143 per month. $143 per month back into their household. Add that to your tax savings, our average tax savings. Go on, Martina, the next one. Uh, our Eliminate Your Debts uh, program. The average monthly savings on interest is about $607.89 uh, per month. $607.89 per month and uh, a total interest savings through the time period of using this program of about $63,000 for our members and a total time reduction of over 12.9 years. We've literally helped our members, uh, are on pace to help our members save about $1.8 billion in interest and over 37,000 years off their time in debt, uh, which is phenomenal. Uh, Okay, Martina, the next slide real quick. And then there's the Restore My Credit program, our credit restoration program, which our members have experienced average credit score in increases of 126.8 points. Uh, so that's the average on people that we actually uh, utilize through or have been able to uh, see those results through our MWR Smart Credit program. Uh, that type of increase in your credit scores based on and average consumers expenses okay uh that's house car uh car insurance homeowners insurance those type of things the estimated monthly interest and insurance premium savings with that type of a credit score increase is approximately 498 dollars per month you add all of that together with just our cashback program not including our mwr passport program uh which is our private reserve account, land banking, investment strategies that eliminate or mitigate risk of loss, putting you in the best position to win uh, when it comes to retirement savings. But if you look at the total overall savings, Martina, if you'll go to the last slide, you'll see that the average member that participates in our program and utilizes all of the services that I just talked about they're saving an average of $2,072.89 per month. Now, with a monthly cost for their MWR business and membership of $149. Now, I want you to break that down. I want you to think about that. I'd spend $149 every day to be able to get $2,072 back every day. Okay. Now, this may not apply to you. That's an average for members that utilize all of our services when we look at it as a whole. you. But what if you only came in at $1,000 a month in savings? What does that do for your cash flow during a recession? 
How does that prepare you going forward so you're not putting all that money on a credit card and you've now freed up cash flow from the banks, big business and the IRS to put back into your household so that you're not having to finance your lifestyle? What does that do for you? Maybe you only come in at a thousand. Maybe you're at the higher end and you come in at three or four or five thousand dollars. OK, remember, that's an average and that's just one piece of our program. That's our cash back program. Uh, <clears throat> we have members that are making uh, unbelievable returns when it comes to, and past performance does not guarantee future results. We always have to say those disclaimers, but that are doing incredible with our private reserve accounts and land banking. Uh, so with our MWR passport program. Now I'm going to say this, especially for all of you that are directors and that that's what we call our representatives with this company. They're MWR financial directors. I'm going to say this to all of you on here that are already directors. Okay. When I told you every adversity comes with an opportunity, I point out all of this to hope to help you understand that I honestly believe firmly from the bottom of my heart, we have the best opportunity on the planet the best opportunity. And I'll tell you exactly why. Because not only are CEOs of conventional businesses preparing for a recession, CEOs of network marketing companies, of other opportunities in our industry are also trying to prepare for a recession. Because when you have, and this is not to put down any of those companies, and it's not that they don't may not have wonderful products. I want you to understand that. But I want you to realize the difference between us and any other opportunity in this industry. One, anybody that's in the same space as us that is doing education when it comes to your finances, there is a learning curve and there is a time delay before you get to experience results. We don't have that problem here because all of our work is done by real experts that already know how to do the work so you can get results faster so that you don't have that learning curve. And in addition to that, while they're doing the work, you actually, you actually learn how to become a better steward of your money through the process because they'll help you understand what they're doing for you, which will educate you while you're getting results. It's called uh, education through expert application instead of you having to go and get an education and trying to implement a financial education and trying to implement all that knowledge on your own. The results don't lie. You've seen the numbers that I just showed. Okay. And we have tens of thousands of testimony of people that we're affecting, positively affecting in a way that is putting more money back into their pockets. The other thing I'm going to tell you is there are tons of companies that are product related companies. I talked about them from a conventional perspective, but I'm going to talk to you about them from a network marketing perspective. Okay. I will tell you, and it is historically proven fact. It is, this, it's a fact that companies, unfortunately for them, and I do not, I'm not downplaying those companies or their opportunity. But I want you to understand that product driven companies, whether they're health and nutrition or, <coughs> excuse me, or any type of product that they're selling, if it's something that is on an auto ship, if it is something that is a standing order that people start to accumulate because they already have two months and they're buying product in order to be able to earn a commission, if that's what they're doing with that and those products, start piling up or those products are sitting in their garage right now, I promise you, if they are one of these people that are being affected by a recession, that becomes an expense to them. That's how they will view it and not an opportunity. Doesn't mean the opportunity is bad. It's just they understand how difficult it is to market a product or service, service that is a nicety a nicety, not a necessity during a recession, during a recession. Okay. And again, that is not to put any of them down. But what makes us unique 
is that people that get involved in our program, they're not on a standing order that's costing them money every month. They're on a standing order with a membership with real experts that are putting more money back into their pockets every month than it costs them to be involved. And the expense of them being involved in our business and our membership, the expense of being involved, that $149.97 a month for our business and our membership, or $99.97 a month just for our membership alone, if they're involved in that, one, it's tax deductible. The other thing is, is that their business provides them with tax deductions that can reduce their liability on taxes, putting more money back into their pocket. And the great thing about it is, is they don't have to figure it all out because we provide them with everything they need to track those expenses and experts that will help them convert their normal living or normal uh, expenses into some of their normal expenses into legitimate home-based business deductions. Guys, I, I cannot think of anything that is more of a no-brainer in a recession or a down economy. I can't think of anything. And what's great is when we come out of it, we get to thrive even more. But the best part is, is that we get to do something where we offer somebody an opportunity to participate in our company, get paid to help other people, not to cost them, not to bury them further in debt, not to put that, give them a product or service that is going to take money away from their family without putting money back into their household. That's not what we're doing. We get to remedy a problem. We get to right a wrong. We get to correct an injustice. We need to. We get to do something that makes us feel good when we lay our head down at night instead of feeling like we're marketing some widget, gadget, pill, potion, lotion, some insignificant product or service, not that they're all insignificant, to push a compensation plan. That's not what we do. That's not what we do. What we do is we market something that is life-changing that helps people deal with the biggest challenge they're facing. You look at any poll, any poll right now, when it comes to voting, everybody's worried about voting right now. And I agree, you should absolutely go vote, okay? But I'm gonna tell you right now, you look at every poll out there and the number one topic is the economy. The number one topic in every poll that you see of what is on people's mind, what they're worried about when it comes to the candidate they're choosing is how they're going to help deal with this economy. That's what it is. And we have the solution. Now, with that, <clears throat> I'm going to bring up another guest real quick. And, uh, and you guys all knowing uh, that are already involved in MWR Financial, but I want him to share a few things with you that he talked to me about today, and we we went over this several times. Uh, that I think is going to be a real eye opener to you, because here's what I want you to ask yourself. Here's what I want you to ask yourself: If not MWR Financial, then what? What else is there that's going to take you? from where you are now to where you want to be or put you into a position to where you do not have to be killed by this recession. What else is there? What else is there? I, I, I would love to hear those, those answers, all right? Because I don't know of another opportunity that can provide and do what we can do with real life testimonies and proven results, tens of thousands of testimonies on our testimonials page. Real people. We didn't put them up there. We vet all of them and make sure they're legit before people put them up there. But tens of thousands of testimony. That's that's what we have to offer. Okay. Proof that what we do works. Okay. Now with that, here's the last thing I'm going to say to you. I love everything our services do. Okay. I love all of it. And our goal is to help you uh, establish an income or, excuse me, establish, or get more cash flow out of your existing income and then create an additional income so that you can be able to buy assets that end up producing even more cash flow for you and your family. 
Okay, that's the goal. That's what we want to do. When we talk about make wealth real, our goal is to help you make, save, and grow your money. That's what it is. Okay, and uh, we have some some teaching around here, which is cash asset cash. Okay, to where increase your cash flow, increase your income, buy assets, uh, land banking, private reserve. Uh, some other things you're going to see coming down the road. So I'm not going to let the cat out of the bag. Uh, and then those things help you produce even more cash flow, okay, uh, or more income. So with that, I'm going to say this. I love all those things. I love all the things that we do. But I honestly believe the most important piece of what MWR Financial has to offer is our opportunity. It is the absolute accelerator to everything that we do. It is the accelerator to eliminating debt. It's the accelerator to uh, providing you with the lifestyle that you want now and in the future. It's the accelerator to allowing you to be able to retire years and even decades sooner. It's the accelerator to everything, okay, uh, when it comes to you being able to experience a life of abundance or to be able to become wealthy, whatever your definition of financial wealth is, because I know that's different for everybody. But I wanted to bring up somebody tonight that's going to break it down for you on what it's going to take in order for you to be able to accomplish whatever level that is for you. Okay. And, uh, and guys, that's none other than our president of field leadership development. That's Mr. Indamo Tulsa. So. Hey, right. hey Brian. How come hey, you're I want there you to go. Go. Okay, oh, there yeah. we go. Okay. I want you to stay here for just a moment. Cause what I think we're going to do, I don't want to do this in injustice and man, you had me fired up. You know, we've talked about this. Yeah. I want to, I want to, we're going to have to have a part two. So I don't want to rush through anything. We're already about 45 minutes in. So right. let's just have a part two, but here's what I will say, Brian. And this, so I, I want everyone to understand why you're so passionate about everything you're saying. Cause not only have you, do you understand the indicators? What I appreciate about you is that you've been a business owner for, with traditional businesses. You've built network marketing companies from the field, and now we own one. So I, so you have come across that. You're not the typical network marketing owner. And, and I want people to get that. But here's what I want them to understand. 2008, okay, which was one of the uh, worst economies that, of our lifetimes. And, and and some people say if you look at the numbers, it was the numbers were worse than the Great Depression. It was just never called that. Mm -hmm. And obviously the banks were bailed out and all those things. Yeah. So 2007, 2008, Brian, while we saw many, many network marketing companies go under, fail, have major, major attrition issues for all the reasons you just indicated, because those indicators are existing right now and we're seeing it for all those reasons you indicated you were able to, we, we saw all of that. We saw this all happen, but yet and still you and I were building a business together in the field, just like every field leader out there right now. And we were thriving. We were killing it. Our incomes were going up while the whole country was on a standstill. And it was because every day in the newspaper, back then there, we still read the newspaper <laughs> and every day in the newspaper on the front page, it gave ammunition to exactly what we were the solution to. Every single, I mean, you could open up any front page in America and it was going to go boom and you say, here's, we have the solution. And that's where we exist right now. And what, what the reason why we had so much success in that business at that time, Brian, because not everybody did. Some people still kind of minimize the company and they, and they said it was always oh, a service related company. So we're going to focus on the services. Some people even only really minimize a company and only focused on one service, mm -hmm. trying to think they were going to build their business that way. But yeah, you already know what I was doing and, and you were doing the same. Yeah. We focused on keeping the main thing, the main thing. And that is we were focused on the opportunity because we knew that people out there, although they want to learn more and understand more, at the end of the day, they want results, bottom line results. In fact, put in the comments if you want to either take the time and learn to be educated, which is not a bad thing. So trust me, education is critically important. I'm all for it. 
or do you want the results right now? Put it. I let me know because I want to know who we're talking to. Do you want results right now? I'm talking about. Do you want income results? Do you want financial results right now? And then you can, and then you'll become educated over time. Or do you want the education right now? And the financial results can come over time. Let me know which one you, which we're talking about here. Look at that. Right now, I'm seeing it. They're saying, I want it all. I want it now. You know, mm-hmm. we're right results right now. So that is what Mr. House has just passionately described for you. What is happening here? And if you want to know the business you're in, and if you want to know what he would do and what I would do right now, we will be so excited, not for the, the, the pain that people are going to go through, but we have the pain relief. We are, and I'm going to give you this, we are the cure to financial cancer. We have the cure to financial cancer. And people are being infected every single day. People that don't even understand there's a money game are really getting crushed and we have the chance. Now, when I say we, that's you. That is such a gift that you have the ability to go out and impact people. And as Brian said, to be able to lay your head on the bed every night and say, wow, what I've done is important. What we do to change people's lives is important. But the key is to help them, have them, put them in a position, watch this, not just to get the services, no, the best position, that is the, that is the, if I had to go a higher law, lesser law, the lesser law is to build everybody just so they can be customers and they're kind of customer gatherers or they, they get a few people and they don't really make much money, but they're getting the services, they're having impact because those impact, and you're going to see in part two, I'm going to show you how that impact is realized. But it's realized in 25, 30 years from now, and I just saw everybody put, I want it all now. I want it now. So that's 25, 30 years from now. That M, It will happen when you get focused on the services. But those of you, who let me talk to you. Those of you who say, wait a minute, this is my moment. This is the time. I'm going to be bold enough. I'm going to be courageous enough to go out and share the good news that is MWR, to go out and let people know there is a tremendous opportunity to change your financial future forever. There's a tremendous opportunity to to create the kind of income you only dreamed about, and it comes residually. So month after month after month after month, that money just keeps flowing in. But we get paid daily when we get promoted, and we get that money right away way. We don't have to wait. It is absolutely powerful. So let's go out and build a distribution network that it, that literally puts MWR on the map for all the masses. That's yeah. what we're looking to do. That's what the power is. And Brian, that's what you built. That's what I built. And it changed lives. And you know that we had people who lost their jobs because of what happened. They came over and they made money. It wasn't that the services were great, but they made money to impact them right now. Yeah, no, Dom, you're absolutely right. I'm going to say this real quick because uh, I I didn't realize where we were on time. And uh, and I would have loved for you to be able to cover what we were talking about tonight uh, but I don't want you to have to rush through it. So what we'll do is we'll do that on Thursday. But here's what I want everybody to understand that is maybe looking at this uh, for the first time is that we literally have people that are genera- directors in our company that are generating six-figure residual incomes, six-figure residual incomes, anywhere from they're, they're making anywhere between 8000 up to $30,000 per month in residual income, okay? And they're getting paid daily. If you're making $30,000 a month in this company, you're getting $1,000 a day hitting your account every single day. And that's because they just showed a few other people how they could help a few other people, how they could help a few other people by providing them with what our company has to offer. And here's the great thing about it, guys, is that if you're new to it, you're looking at this for the first time, but because we said you could invite guests to this if you wanted to tonight. okay? because we want everybody to know what we're capable of doing, what we've already accomplished, but how you don't have to be affected by this, how you don't have to be affected by this. 
And the great thing is, is we're not one of these companies that throws out all this hype and talks about all these wonderful things that we're doing and how we have all these results. We actually back it up. We're the only company I know of that somebody that participates as a business owner with our membership and plugs in and utilizes what we have. If we can't save them or make them more money in their first 30 days, we just give them a full refund. We've taken all the risk out of being in business and participating with a product or service that may tell you it's great and not turn out to be so great. You don't have to worry about that here. Okay. And you know what, Brian, the other thing is what's so powerful about what we have here is that people don't have to hope and wonder and be curious. Well, does it really work? Is it really happening for you? You know, if we were, and not that any of the other service, other product driven <laughs> companies aren't bad, but sometimes it takes a little while to determine if there's results or not. Here, no one has to ever wonder if they're sitting there for the first time going, man, this all sounds good, but I don't know. Maybe it doesn't work. We have over, like you said, over 10,000 documented proof that we do what we say we do. And what's so beautiful about our, our opportunity opportunity, Brian, that this often gets overlooked and lost. No one here has to be a financial expert by by night. They, yeah. they don't have to come in and learn how to learn how to do this or learn how to do that to affect someone's to affect someone's finances. They get to be who they are, which is just a person who cares about somebody else and wants to share what's happening for them. They can happen for others. What's happened to others can happen for you. So that's what they do. But in doing that, you get to share something that is proven. It has proven, predictable, positive results. So yep. when you get to do something where you have proven, predictable, positive results, and why is that the case? Because the experts in those fields are the ones that are actually dealing with you in that area. So that's why you're getting those proven, predictable, positive results. So if I knew I had an opportunity that that was happening and all I have to do is focus on, on plugging in myself. So I have my own story to tell because I need those same, I need my cash flow to come back to me. I, I, I want to be able to have my money working for me so mm -hmm. I don't have to for the rest of my life. So that's all important, but man, I could go out here and literally, just with my own efforts and the efforts of a few others, literally put myself in a position where I'm, I, I've I had a comma to my income. I got, I, I'm getting paid every day. I, you know, I, I love that we can go from five dollars a day to twenty to forty, all the way up to eighty five hundred dollars per day. Yeah. So you get to get in where you fit in, where it makes sense to you, and go really, truly go out there and live the life you've always wanted. It's right here. So I don't know who's prayed for you. I don't know how you prayed, but I do know this. An answer to a prayer is right here before everyone because God has equipped you with everything you need to succeed in this company. We have the leadership. See, you're in the right place at the right time, and that's that's always very critical to success. But the thing that they, not a lot of people, Brian, don't say is the right place at the right time with the right people. And that's what we have here at MWR. It's a special company, and we're looking for special people who want to go become part of the Make Wealth Real movement, because that's what we're birthing. Amen. Amen. Listen, Dom, we've got two minutes left. I'm going to point yes. this out. We're going to announce another live that we're going to do because I want Endamo to be able to break down how literally what it, what it would take for you, what it would take right. for you to accumulate the amount of money that you need compared to what you can do here to make that happen in order to be able to live the lifestyle that you want to live in order to be able to retire when you want to retire. OK, uh, all of those things, he's going to break that down because you need to understand our compensation plan, our opportunity and how amazing it is. Guys, we pay out almost 80 percent to the field, 80 percent of the revenue that's generated. Our field force makes more than the company. OK, that's that's what we that's what we want to see happen. Uh, this is not just about the money for us. OK, it is about the money for you. OK. And, uh, and we want to be the ones to help you make that happen. So here's what I'm going to tell you. Right now, right now, we have an unbelievable window of opportunity to be able to share this message 
with so many people that again, and Damo says he doesn't know how you pray. Uh, I know who I am and whose I am. And, uh, and I, 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 pre- I respect anybody else's faith, whatever that may be. Uh, but I can tell you right now, there are a lot of people that are praying for an MWR financial in their life. They're praying for it, guys, because the, the statistics don't lie. When you see what people are facing, all those things I went over earlier, and you think about those people, that husband, that wife, laying in bed right now, worrying about what's going to happen over the next six months, what's going to happen with their job, how they're going to make it, their credit cards are running out of money, all these things that are transpiring right now, and you have the ability to be the blessing that ends up making a difference in their lives, I promise you, we can talk money all day long. I can't wait for Ndamo to show it to you, but there is nothing more powerful than that. There just isn't. Okay. And so listen, uh, love you guys. Appreciate all of you that got on here tonight. Share this message, guys, share this message. People need to know, and they need to know that there's an answer out there for them. And, uh, we have MWR financial. Thanks guys. Have a great night. Thank you. Have a great night, everyone. Bye-bye.